Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the daily tune-up today. Well, this is Thanksgiving week 2011, and I trust a lot of you are looking forward to the holiday, the thankfulness of Thanksgiving. I trust that's what's happening with you. And also we're entering the new Christmas season, and then it's 212. Can you believe it? Today and the first of this week, what I want you to do is take the next few days before you hit that Thanksgiving dinner and really appreciate your life, appreciate who you are, appreciate the uniqueness of who you are. More than that though, ask yourself, am I as happy as I wanna be? And many people when I ask that question really aren't as happy as they wanna be. And I have to ask the question, what specifically would make you more happy? And when you get that answer, you kind of search deep down inside yourself, and sometimes that's a confusing question to ask yourself, and it's also sometimes difficult to extract the answer. And the reason for that is that many of us never get asked that question, what would make us happy? We know of a lot of things that would make us happy. A lot of people say money can't really make happiness, but you know what, it does make things easier. But if you haven't got a lot of money, and not very many people do right now, there's other things that can create prosperity, which then create more money. And it's not necessarily about money, it's about the way you're looking at your life. When we're moving into Thanksgiving right now, I think this is an appropriate time of year, an appropriate time this week, for you to really ask yourself that serious question. Are you as happy as you want to be? And if you say no, you have to really take responsibility for that yourself and ask yourself this question. What am I doing to create that unhappiness? Many times it's you're staying stuck in a meaningless relationship or a meaningless job. Or maybe you're staying where you are out of fear of not being able to do any better. Those are all things that are traps in our thinking process. Nothing will ever change until you're willing to take the risk of making those changes. It's like I asked the other day, are you really willing to change? You have to ask yourself, are you? And if you are, then do it and find out new sources, new wisdoms, and new avenues you can take to start changing things up. Many people think they have to make a 180 degree shift in their life to make it better. Really, if you just do a small shift, it's going to make huge changes and pay off huge dividends when you get out there a few weeks or a few months. Today, as we move into this grateful time of year, I want you to be grateful. Be grateful for being alive. Be grateful for living in these exciting times that we're living in right now, seeing history and biblical changes changing on a daily basis. We're heading for a new paradigm. We're heading to a new reality, whether you want to believe it or not. And I think you can either embrace it or let it embrace you. Today, I want you to be willing to be amiable to change, be flexible, and above all, make yourself happy by first of all deciding to get that way and then thinking the thoughts that are going to allow you to be that way. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary asking you to have an extraordinary day and be happy. It's easy. Bye-bye.